It was bring your father to school day. My father was in the military. He was active duty in the Marine Corps. And I asked my mother, well, you know, where was my father today? And she explained that he had been killed. The gunshot wound had literally shattered the left side of his chest and obliterated his heart. And he died basically instantly. And it was at that moment that I wanted to be a heart doctor because my thought process was at five that I would be able to save him. But I learned later that I couldn't, but the passion that I had to help people stayed. Fast forward several years, I was working as a firefighter and I was responding to an apartment building fire. We arrive on scene, I see all of the fire and I saw a 31 year old woman that was eight months pregnant. She was not breathing. I was in absolute shock and awe. I wanted to give her the best chance for survival. We got a pulse back. We got her to the trauma hospital. Baby was fine without defect. But unfortunately, mom succumbed to her injuries five days later. She didn't make it. That moment, I realized that if I was going to make the change that I wanted to make in the world, to be my best when someone is at their worst moment, that I was going to need to obtain a bachelor's degree. For me, American Military University is the only university that was going to respect, understand, and appreciate my need and my desire to obtain my bachelor's degree. At the beginning of my application process with AMU, I submitted all of my firefighting certification. They awarded me 43 credit hours just from my firefighting certification. That's unreal. The classes I took at AMU really did help me with articulating how to be an advocate for my patient when time is of the essence to maximize my efforts to have hands on with them as I'm getting them to the hospital. I had a dream at the tender age of five to mend shattered hearts. As an adult, with the assistance at AMU, my dream has truly become a reality. My name is Gregory Proctor, and I am an AMU graduate.